First up, I meet the man who um, I used to work with once upon a time in the old days, but for 20 years now, he's been the steady cam operator for Channel 4 Racing. Now, if you've watched it on TV or been at the course, it's almost certain you'll have seen Adrian walking backwards, holding the steady cam, um, as the winning horse comes back to the winner's enclosure. He gets great shots there and at stables and such like of the horses in action. Now as TV viewers we can all be guilty of just taking such shots for granted in these in this day and age. But do we know what's involved? Do we know how much for example the steady cam weighs? I didn't until I linked up with my old mate Adrian Cam. Um, he makes capturing great shots of racehorses look easy. It's not, but thankfully talking to Adrian on camera is. That's the lowest figure we softest ground on the Nessie Gold Cup there on the chase course. And it's the the so that's an illustration of how tough this race could be today. The chase course is officially soft, but the hardest course is soft, heavy and pacey. This piece of kit, tell me about it. To the uninitiated, what is it? Right, to so the uninitiated, it's just a steady cam, and basically what happens with a steady cam is it allows me to move around, move around, keep the camera steady. Everything works on the basis of this arm here that's got a spring on it, and basically as I run up and down here, the spring is taking all the weight, therefore leaving the lens here in a nice steady position. So the reason why I became so specialised on Channel 4 Racing was it enables me to walk back with the winning jockey, do the interviews, keep it all nice and steady, they can put graphics on it and it's nice to watch. Shoot that from your shoulder when you're walking and naturally the lens is bouncing up and down so it's no good. So 20 years ago I've got this involved in Channel 4 Racing and ever since then it's been a, a regular feature every uh, week. Were you into racing before then? I was very blessed, I got into racing as a little one. My grandpa was a professional gambler, he used to push me around all the betting haunts in Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. So yeah, I've always been around horses but there's just two words for me fella that just absolutely summed up why I got into it. Red Rum, Grand National. Red Rum and Grand National. There's the two words on each one. And that was it. I was up ever since then and you know, used to bring a tear to my eye. And then when I actually got my first ever chance to walk a national winner back and uh, that was Timmy Murphy. Oh my goodness, the tears streamed down my face. My dear old dad, God bless him, was gone years ago. We used to watch that. And Cheltenham Gold Cup winners, I've done every walk back with best mate. I was lucky enough to go to Henrietta's and be part of that fantastic environment and scenario when he did his big three. Easter Brack, bonkers in the winner's enclosure that day. I literally was just carried away on my feet and I'm trying to operate this thing at 85 pounds. Sweat dripping everywhere, just absolutely bolt red with aggression and adrenaline going for it. And it was unbelievable. I've been very blessed. I was around Dubai Millennium that famous night when he won the Dubai World Cup and the excitement and the buzz out on the, uh, out on the, t out on the sand afterwards when they gave him his award. And it was truly, I'm very blessed. I mean, I'm in the greatest environment I could be in. I get a nice reward for carrying this 85 pound camera around and it keeps me fit and I get well paid. So, hey, happy days. So you get emotionally involved then? Absolutely, emotionally involved. I mean, it's just a pleasure to be around these horses. And, you know, so lucky that the spin-off work that's come with it, I do a lot of work for the stallion farms and we film the babies coming along. And listen, I was around uh, some great horses. Yeah, I do get emotionally involved. You can, can you not get involved, you know, it's great. And have you ever fallen over carrying this? I've only been down just the once in my old career with this on now, 20 years on, and it was here at Newbury, and uh, basically the horses went to the left of me on the course, 17 of them galloping by, and on the right was one horse who got loose and he came through the fence and I could hear the plastic rails pinging and smashing, and then the next thing I went over and the horse jumped on my shoulder and off he went into the distance. Quite painful, and, but the shots were great, it was dynamite, but that horse had a look in his eyes, no jockey on board and he wanted to kill someone and it was going to be me. Anyway, here we are to tell the story. And your favourites finally, your favourite horses of more recent times? Favourite horses, well listen, uh, you know... Or moments, you know, we I'll sit at home and you get excited by moments. What what race moments have you seen where you've really got excited? Oh, listen, excited. Yeah, listen, every big Group 1 race, there's something special about Group 1 flat races. There's something really special about the big Grade 1 jump races. And you can really feel it, you know, deep inside. When you get the parade, the parade gets into order and then they come out onto the course and walking up there in front of that grandstand. I mean, look at the grandstands, they're packed to the gunnels. If you can't get excited about this, there's something wrong, you know? It's great, it's great. Oh, 
well, it's a great workout, and I get paid for working out. But, but I've got a bad back, and I don't lift anything like what you lift. Well, I think what's happened over the years is my body has just developed according to carrying the weight. So you know, all these years on, the body's developed. Your butt muscles get very tight, your shoulder muscles, and obviously with the weight on one side and on the other, I've got quite a larger shoulder muscle on this side compared to this side. That's life. That's what we do. And looking at those moves, is it strictly come dancing? Next strictly to you? come. They have a good friend of mine operates on strictly come dancing, and I tell you what, there's some days when I'm stood in weather like this, I think I'd rather be some of those little Polish beauties spinning their stuff out there than here today. I'll bless you. All right, mate. Thanks. Good Andy. man.